Hey, Mr. Keffrey here. Thank you for joining me for this week's Teen Adult Senior Black Belt Trap Karate class. Let's all get started. Everyone show me your natural stance. Snap to attention. Spread your feet. Make a fist. Cover. Close your eyes. Set your attention to everything. What your goal is. Season Champions team. Team, we're going to think about using our emotions. We're going to have to hold us back. We're going to empower us. To fuel us. To make us even stronger and better. Please open your eyes. Bring your feet together. Put your hands to your side and curse about. Relax stance, put your hands right behind your back, and everyone repeat after me. True build, true confidence. I must have knowledge in the mind, honesty in the heart, and strength in the body. Winners never quit, quitters never win. I choose to be a black belt. Alright, now just dance. Team attention. Tap your right leg, step out of your stance. All right. All right, team. We're starting our guard. Hands are up. We want to be a, a champion today, so we need to make sure we're strong and fierce. And we're working on our best form possible. Hands are up. Take your front hand. We're going to go jab, backhand, cross. So as we're doing this, front hand goes all the way out. Jab, left, your backhand, left hand is on your, sorry, your right hand is on your cheek. Your left hand is all the way out. All right. From here, we're, our wrist is straight. We're striking with those two big knuckles on our hand. As we throw our cross, we rotate our body forward. Hand goes straight out. It doesn't come up at the side. It doesn't come in and pops out. It has to go straight from your cheek, straight out. Other hand comes back to your cheek as you rotate through. Let's reset. Ready, team? And go. It's going to be jab, cross, and reset. Go. Jab, cross, and back. And go. Jab, cross, and one more. Go. Jab, cross. Awesome. And sweet feet go. All right, team. Same thing. Really focus on keeping those elbows in. Your knees should be soft here. Don't lock your legs super straight. You want to keep your knees soft. Elbows are in close. Hands are next to your cheek, right? Front hand jab. We're going to jab. Freeze for a second. Look at where your punch is. I'm punching right to the nose. That's my target. My back hand is on my cheek. And cross. Striking the exact same point, right? Demonstrating that self control I have right now. Come back, ready? And go, jab, cross, and reset. Go, jab, cross, and back. There you go, jab, cross, and go, jab, cross, and one more, and go, jab, cross. Awesome team, and switch, all right. So some of you might be thinking, oh my gosh, I don't know if I can do the tournament. Getting up in front of other people, I'm gonna be really nervous, my, I'll have butterflies in my stomach. <laughs> Almost everyone has those feelings when they go to do something challenging, whether it's torment, whether it's doing a presentation at school, whether it's just getting out of your comfort zone. We get those nervous feelings with it, right? But we don't let that stop us, right? We want to make sure that those feelings should be energizing us because it means we're trying something new. It means we have an opportunity to get better and stronger and grow as a person. All right, team, let's kind of add some uppercuts to it. So we're going to start right here. We're going to go jab, cross. We're going to come back to our guard. We're going to drop our weight down and uppercut. Rock your way down and uppercut, right? We're trying to do the uppercuts with our legs. So the legs extending are what's powering the uppercut, right? And go, jab, cross, freeze for a second. Just check your posture. Did you rotate your hips? Is your wrist straight? Are you striking with the big knuckles on your hand? One hand on your cheek. Uppercut, right? Again, did you drop the knees, bend the knees, you come down, hand on your cheek, and uppercut. Right, and come back. Ready, and go, jab, cross, Uppercut, uppercut. And again, jab, cross, uppercut, uppercut. And one more time, go. Jab, cross, uppercut, uppercut. Ready? And switch. All right. All right, team. Jab, cross. Remember, same thing on the other, just the other side. So jab, cross, front hand, uppercut. Boom. Get those knees involved in this. And uppercut. Boom. And come back, right? And go. Jab, cross, uppercut, uppercut. Go, jab, cross, uppercut, uppercut, right? And go, jab, cross, uppercut, uppercut. All right, and switch to the other side. All right, team, say, we want our emotions, team. That nervousness we feel, that should never hold us back. That's the fuel that's gonna drive us forward, okay? okay. Team, we just gotta recognize our emotions, know they're there, acknowledge them, and then, don't let them affect our performance. Don't let them hold us back. 
Let's become better at what we are. Key, right. jab, cross, uppercut, uppercut, front leg, defensive roundhouse kick. Right? So here it's going to be jab, cross, uppercut, uppercut, hands back in your guard, don't kick them down here, and hands back in your guard, chamber, kick, and then back down. Right? Jab, cross, uppercut, uppercut, hands back to your guard, chamber, kick, and back. We're striking with the top of the foot with this one. Instep, top of the foot. Ready and go. Jab, cross, uppercut, uppercut. Remember that uppercut power comes from the dropping the weight and extending the leg as you're coming up. Hands back to your guard. And front leg roundhouse kick, right? Defensive roundhouse kick. Kick and back. All right, go. Jab, cross, uppercut, uppercut. Back to our guard. Kick and back. One more time. Ready? Jab, cross, uppercut, uppercut. Reset. Kick. And back. We try the other side. Oh, yeah. right. Five things we're doing now, team. Ready? Hands up. Ready? And go. Jab, cross, uppercut, uppercut. A lot of hip rotation here. Back to our guard, chamber, kick, and back down. Ready? And go. Jab, cross, uppercut, uppercut, reset, chamber, kick, and back. Ready? Keeping the arms in here, team. Don't get lazy as we're adding more techniques to it. Those first jab crosses still need to be strong and powerful. And go. Jab, cross, uppercut, uppercut, kick, and back. Ready? And go. Jab, cross, uppercut, uppercut, back to your guard, elbows are in, chamber, kick, reach chamber, and then put it down. Don't drop your leg. Ready? And go. Jab, cross, uppercut, uppercut, guard again, kick, and back. All right, switch, other side, all right. Now we're adding a shuffle up front kick, front leg roundhouse kick to this, right? So we've got four punches, two kicks now. Hands are up. It's gonna be jab, cross, uppercut, uppercut. Back to our guard, defensive kick, shuffle forward. Back leg comes to the front leg, chamber, kick again, place it down to the front. All right, we're gonna shuffle back to the beginning. All right, team, ready? Back to our guard stance. And jab, cross, uppercut, uppercut. Really focus on that good form. Make sure each technique is exactly the way you want it to be. Hands back up next to your cheek. All right, team, from here, bring your leg up to kick. Shuffle forward, bring your leg up, kick. Boom. Team, this is where the champions are made, right? Not by sitting on the couch, thinking about how you're gonna be better, but by practicing with intent, with the goal of doing the best you can. All right, shuffle back. Ready? Hands are up. And go. Jab, cross, uppercut, uppercut, kick, shuffle in, kick, and reset. Ready? And again. Jab, cross, uppercut, uppercut, defensive kick, shuffle kick, and go back. All right, you ready? And go. Jab, cross, uppercut, uppercut, defensive kick, shuffle kick, right? And go back, and switch, let's try the other side. All right, five, five, six techniques we're doing now, team, ready? And go, jab, cross, uppercut, uppercut, defensive roundhouse kick, shuffle up, roundhouse kick, and then shuffle back. Right here. And go. Jab, cross, uppercut, uppercut. Hands in your guard. Defensive kick. Shuffle up. Roundhouse kick. And back. Right? And again, go. Jab, cross, uppercut, uppercut. All the way back. Defensive kick. Shuffle up. Offensive kick. Right? Come back. Right, team, ready? And go. Jab, cross, uppercut, uppercut. Make sure your hands are in a guard as you're doing this. Elbows are in tight. Back to your guard, elbows are in, not flaring out of the side. Chamber kick. Shuffle forward. Chamber kick. Remember, re-chamber before you drop the leg. All right, ready? Going back. All right, ready? And go. Jab, cross, uppercut, uppercut. Defensive, shuffle up, offensive. Awesome team. Team, we want to embrace our emotions, right? We have emotions that are good emotions. 
emotions that feel, make you feel energy, that make you feel good. We want to embrace those emotions. We also have negative emotions too, right? There are things that make you feel like well, you're worried and you're nervous, you have anxiety. Those are perfectly normal emotions to have, right? But we're going to manage them by not letting those emotions get the best of us, right? Don't let them sabotage you. Don't let them sabotage your performance. Don't let them sabotage your goal, right? Hands are up. Okay. Adding in an advancing roundhouse kick now. So it's going to be four hand techniques, three leg techniques. Hands are up. We're going to go jab, cross, uppercut, uppercut, back to your guard, roundhouse kick. That's a defensive one. Shuffle up, roundhouse kick. Again, chamber, kick, chamber. And then an advancing roundhouse kick. With the advancing roundhouse kick, we're kicking with the back leg. Our front leg, we need to pivot. Make sure if I have foots over here and I kick, I'm gonna get a lot of pressure on my knee. We should have no pressure on our knee. If you feel the pressure on our knee, make sure you pivot that front foot. We're gonna pivot that front foot all the way over. Our hands are gonna come up. We're gonna bring our back leg around. We're gonna kick. And we're advancing to the front. All right, Keith, ready? Let's go back to our starting point. We're gonna do that one more time. Right. And back a little bit away from the camera here, Keith, because we're going to be going for a good bit. Ready? So from here, we're in our guard. Jab, cross, uppercut, uppercut. Defensive, roundhouse kick. Shuffle up, roundhouse kick. And dancing roundhouse kick. Remember, we're going to pivot, hand stamp in our guard, kick, set it down. Now we're on the other side. Jab, cross. Uppercut, uppercut. I think you know where we're going with this team, right? Back to our guard. Shuffle up. Oh, sorry. Defensive kick. Shuffle up. Deep roundhouse kick. And then advancing roundhouse kick. Pivot. Kick. And go back. All right. So we need to make sure we have enough room that we can do those techniques, right? We got three kicks going forward, and we've got uh, our guarding stance to start out with. All right. So let's reset back to our starting point. Hands are up. Ready? And go. It's going to be jab, cross, uppercut, uppercut. Defensive roundhouse kick, shuffle up roundhouse kick, advancing roundhouse kick, pivot, kick. All right? Then back to our guard. Jab, cross, uppercut, uppercut. We are in guard before our door kicks, right? And then from here, kick. Defensive, shuffle, pivot, advance. All right, go back to your starting point. Ready? Again. Jab, cross, uppercut, uppercut. Defensive roundhouse kick. Shuffle up, roundhouse kick. Advancing roundhouse kick. All right, the other side. Jab, cross, uppercut, uppercut. Back to our guard. Defensive roundhouse kick. Shuffle up, roundhouse kick. Advancing roundhouse kick. Right. And then shuffle back. You want to keep minimal footwork in here? So if you find yourself shuffling and taking like two or three little steps here, or you find yourself doing your back leg roundhouse kick, and you're pivoting a little bit, and you're kicking, and you're hopping around, and kicking, all right, work on trying to get that smooth motion, trying to minimize your foot movement. Once your foot's placed, it's pretty much where it's going to be, all right? So, there are something to keep in mind. Our two ways to do our advancing roundhouse kick for that front leg pivot. When we're first learning everything, super good idea. Plus, this also generates a ton of power. We're gonna rotate our body over the side here, get kind of cock our hip a little bit, chamber, and explode into it, right? Uh, if you have like really good form and you're feeling comfortable with it, you can combine that pivot into the chamber, right? So as I go to chamber, I bring my leg up and I pivot at the same time, right? I want to pivot and chamber at the same time. That kind of cuts that movement down a little bit. It gets a little more snappy looking. All right, but you have to be careful. If you're going to pivot and chamber at the same time, you should never feel any pressure on your knee. Pivoting your knee is going to protect your knee so much. And when it comes to self-defense, that close range combat, whether you pivot or whether you chamber a pivot, it's going to be negligible. Right? If you're a tournament comp competing, competition sparring, yes, there's all types of things that make a difference. In fact, your chamber is probably going to come up from here for your roundhouse kick instead of from over here. Uh, there's just different things you can do 
at competition level to kind of mess with the other person's perception of what a cut cake should look like. But for self-defense purposes, protecting ourselves, you know, whether you pivot first and then swing your leg around in the chamber, or whether you chamber and pivot at the same time, got to have pretty much the exact same results. Not enough to lose any sleep over. All right, team, back to the beginning. Let's do this one more time. Snap to attention, tap on your right leg, back to your guard stance, go, I Remember, we're champions, team. We need to be a champion in everything we're going to do. So give me that super strong focus today, right? We're going to go jab, go soup, 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 soup. Back to your guard, right? And go. Soup, soup. And don't forget to pivot. Awesome. Other side, we're still at our guard. Soup, 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 soup. Back to my guard before I start doing my kicks. Let's make sure I've got good form. Ready? And go. Soup. Soup. And then pivot and kick. Awesome. Ready? And from here, we're just going to snap to attention, natural stance. And we'll bow. All right, team, back out to your natural stance. Awesome. That is our form that we'll actually be doing during the tournament this year. All right, and the tournament remembers April 27th on a Saturday. All right, team, show me your natural stance. Snap to attention. Face front bow. Back into your natural stance. Team, let's gather in. This week's lesson of the week, it's all about Carly Simons and Bruce Springsteen and how they use their emotions differently. Carly Simons was talking about how before a show, she would get such a pit in, the, in her stomach, she would barely be able to perform. The anxiety, the nervousness was so overwhelming, she just felt like she couldn't do it. But there was no way that she could actually get on stage and perform. Bruce Springsteen, on the other hand, was talking about when he performs, he gets that same pit in his stomach, that same feeling for him, but he recognizes that pit as a precursor that I'm going to have a great show, a great performance. The key takeaway here is recognizing the emotion. But what you do with that emotion, that's what's really important. It was the same feeling for both of them, but the how they translated it was completely different. When we're preparing to do like a presentation or maybe getting ready for the tournament or even stepping out of our comfort zone a little bit, it's important that we recognize what we are feeling. But I want you to use that as a fuel and not allow it to hold you back. All right, let's get back to our natural stance. Self defense for this week is bear hug from the front, arms pinned. So this is someone coming up and grabbing us around the waist to try and trap our arms out here. So the first thing we do is make ourselves bigger. Uh, we're going to drop our one of our legs back. I'll step back with my right leg on uh, this one. So I'm going to step back with my right leg. I'm going to push my hands to the center of their body, trying to create a wedge between myself and them. Palms together, pushing in. Elbows against my body here. So when they push, they're not going to trap me out of here. From here, I'm gonna grab hold of wherever I can. Hands on their side, grab hold, and I'm gonna knee, trying to keep my elbow still here in the center of my body. I do a couple knees, two, three, whatever it takes to do it. From here, I'm gonna pop my arms up, try and get up through the center of their arms, pop my arms up, open them up, jab, cross, or heel palm, heel palm, and then stop, stay back. Whatever you need to do to get them to back away from you, uh, jab, cross, I like heel palms and a punch. You might be so close that elbows and elbows are gonna be more appropriate for you. But whatever combination works best for you in that range and distance is what you wanna go with. Let me go from the side. So from here, I'm, I'm grabbed, my arms are trapped around my body. Right? What I'm gonna do is I'm bringing my arms to the front. Right? Almost like I'm clapping my hands together. My elbows are in the center of my body, right around where my belly button is. And from here, I'm gonna drop my weight back and I'm gonna push my hands out. I want to get as I want to make myself as awkward as possible for them to lift up. From here, grab hold, drive my knee into the groin, and if I need to do a couple more times, I am going to drive a few more. Once I realize they're reacting to that, their their focus is down on those knees. My arms come up, pop the arms off the side, heel palm punch, or punch punch, or punch elbow, you know, or punch punch knee, whatever you want to do, right? Punch, punch, and then cover out, stop, stay back, getting distance between yourself and them. We do it from the other side over here. Get the self-defense technique. 
is a bear hug from the front, arms pinned, they're grabbing me around the waist, my arms come in really close to the center, almost like I can pop my hand, push my palms out to create a wedge, push my leg back to brace myself, grab hold of what I can, knee one, two, three, pop the arms up in the center, jab, cross, and then cover out, stop, stay down. So one of the things I want you to try to focus on when you're doing this is keeping the elbows in close, in here. If someone's in here and they're and they got some pressure on you and your elbows are out here, they can just push your arms back. But if your elbows are in here and they try and push, they're just going into your body. It creates that wedge. You can't get, they can't push into here. It's only when they get past your body they can push those, they push you back. So we're gonna create that wedge here, just like a door wedge, so just to block them from opening that door the whole way. If you're standing straight up, straight up and down, and someone grabs you around the hips, it's a lot easier to pick you up. Simply by just putting yourself out, making yourself bigger like this, just changing our posture, and then having someone grab us, lift up, it makes it more challenging for them to get, right? It makes it more challenging. And if I can keep them from locking the arms behind me, pushing it out here so they can't get a good grip around behind me, and they're just grabbing with my head, almost makes it impossible for them to lift, lift me up, right? And that's one of the things what I'm doing here. So I, I create the wedge, make myself bigger, and push myself out. This prevents them from being able to get that lock to lift me up and relocate me, throw me down, whatever they're going to do with it. And then from here, I have the option of doing whatever I need to do. My knees to the groin, popping the hands up, jab, cross. And when you're popping the arms up, you try and keep everything in close. The more you open things up, the easier it is for somebody to go ahead and grab underneath those. All right, team. That is our self-defense. Bear hug from the front. Arms pinned, back to your natural stance. 100 count. Section two moves 17 through 25. So where we left off uh, last time is we had just done the two uppercuts, we had did the forearm strike, we did the hammer fist, and we did a hammer fist. So we ended up on move 16, <clears throat> which was our right hammer fist. Okay. From here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna so move 17, we're gonna take our left leg, we're gonna step back, and as we do, we're doing a back knuckle to the side of the head, that's 17. 18, we're gonna drop back, we're gonna do a smashing back knuckle, driving down, that's gonna be 18, and 19, heel palm, pushing them back up, right? So it's gonna be one, two, and three. So let's go back to move 16, 16 is our right hammer fist, 17, step back as we do hammer fist to the side of the face. 18, hammer fist driving him down. 19, pushing the hand up, head up. 20, we're stepping through. Elbow strike to the cheek. We're going to spin all the way around. And on 21, we're going to do a chop and then a chop. All right, 21, 22. So let's go back to our beginning. All right. So our reset position is move 16 of section two. That is our right hammer fist. 17, step back, side back knuckle. 18, dropping back knuckle. 19, heel palm comes up. 20, step in and go with right. 21, unwind with a right chop to the opponent's right shoulder, left chop. 22, 23, you're gonna get a left chop. 24 is going to be a right chop, right? We got one more move to add to this. All right, so let's go back to the beginning. 100 count, section two, moves 17 through 25. All right, move 16 was our right hammer fist. 17, step back with your left leg. Horizontal back fist. 18, dropping back fist. 19, heel palm comes up. 20, elbow strike, turn. 21, chop the neck. 22, chop the neck. 23, other side, chop the neck. 24, chop the neck. 25, vertical fist punch into the solar plexus. And that's it, that's all, that's 100 now, right? So let me go from this side over here, which shows the same moves uh, from 16 on, right? So remember, 16 is that right hammer fist. 17, step back with your left leg. Right back knuckle, 18. Right dropping back knuckle, 19. Right palm comes up, raising your chin up. 20, left elbow strike, 21. 
right chop, 22, left chop, 23, left chop, 24, right chop, 25, vertical fist. And reset. I'll do it once in the front here as well. All right, so 100 count, section two, moves 17 through 25. We're starting at move 16, which is our right hammer fist. 17, step back with your left leg, right, horizontal hand, back knuckle, 18, right, vertical back knuckle, 20, heel palm lifting the head up, 21, elbow, 22, right chop, palm down, 23, left chop, palm up, 24, left chop, palm down, 25, right chop, palm up, Unwind with 25, which is going to be our vertical fist punch. And Keith, back out for a natural stance. That is 100 count, section two, moves nine through, sorry, moves 17 through 25. Team, on April 27th, we have the Ashen Karate Invitational Tournament coming up. So super excited about that. It's always fun to compete and hang out with other martial artists and just get a chance to see how we're doing. And also to challenge myself to be like the better martial artist, the better person, better leader, by getting out in front of other people and do other things. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go through the entire bow-in for the kata section. Now, if you are a first degree black belt, second, first, second, third, or higher, you have an option of doing 100 count or Tom Tui, one of the ones we've done in the last two cycles. But if you are white through red, you're going to be doing our form that we've been working on in class. We'll go look through that really quick. All right. So I'm going to move to the back of the room and I'll bring myself up as we're going through this. So, team, from the back of the room, we're sitting down on the floor. You know, crisscross applesauce like a black belt, Ian Faisa, however you want to sit. Uh, how, what's going to be comfortable for you? You're going to be sitting until your name is called. Once your name is called, you're going to snap to attention. You're going to bow before you step into the ring. You're going to run forward. Right. You're going to run forward so you're in front of the judges. You're going to snap to attention. You're going to bow. Natural stance, relaxed stance. From here, you're going to introduce yourself. Say, hello, judges. My name is. You're going to tell them what your name is. Say, I go to. Tell them what school you go to. Judges, may I please begin? When they say yes, you're going to snap to attention, bow, say thank you judges. You're going to back up. Team, we're going to be doing a lot of movements here. I need to make sure I got enough space between myself and the judges, so I'm not going to step on anybody. So going almost back to the end of the room, we're going to go back to our natural stance. Snap to attention. I'm going to bow again before we get started. Go back to my guarding stance. I'm going to go ayah. All right, team. From here, we're going to do our combination. We're going to be jab, cross, uppercut, uppercut. We step back into our guard. Defensive roundhouse kick, the front leg roundhouse kick. One, shuffle up. Roundhouse kick with the front leg, boom, that's two. Next, we're gonna do an advancing roundhouse kick. Means we're gonna pivot with that front leg, back leg comes up, roundhouse kick, set. Now we're on the other side. Jab, cross, uppercut, uppercut. Hands are back up in your guard. Defensive roundhouse kick, one. Shuffle up roundhouse kick. Two. And dancing roundhouse kick. Pivot. Kick. Back to your guards. Step back. Snap to attention. Bow. Thank you, judges. And we're going to go back to our starting spot. Making sure I don't go. step right away. Go back. Bow again. And then I can take my seat. All right. So for our white through red, Kata is going to be our form. We're going to be doing jab, cross, uppercut, uppercut, defensive roundhouse kick, shuffle up roundhouse kick, advancing roundhouse kick. We're doing it on the right side first, followed by the left side. All right, All right back to your natural stance. Team, thank you very much for joining me today. So, don't forget, April 27th, Asher Karate Invitational Tournament coming up. Love to see everyone there doing your very best, channeling those emotions, using them as fuel to make yourself better and stronger. Team, let's go ahead and bow out. Everyone show me your natural stance. Snap your attention. Face front and back. Back out to your natural stance. Have a great week, team. AB, see ya.